Well, here we are again. Finished Clock Tower. And now it's time for Clock Tower. Damon. Of course, you could say as well, our buckle didn't come out in America or Europe. It only came out in the Japan, so there's no point in calling it the Clock Tower 2. Fair enough. Oh. And here we have the ending of Clock Tower. Here's the big baby. He's all 3D now though, and he looks terrible. Oh, let's see if this makes more sense. Nope, nope. He doesn't even try. Jennifer looks uh, emotionless on. Here's <laughs> the baby burns. Burn big bad baby. <laughs> Alright, still nothing yet. No, um. it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. Wait, that's giant that's, that's scissors supposed to say anything shit. Again, search for prey. Yes, it is. Alright, my bad. Alright, I thought the thing broke. You know? Terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. Wait. Is this you? Sorry, <laughs> here's. here's Oh boy, so I'm mixing in voice acting. One after another, and nearly 3D. Who will make it through this game of murder alive? <laughs> Clock Tower. It, I, this, the, the voice acting and delivery here is fascinating. Well, I hope it's more fascinating than the first game. That voice acting just for the narration was, it sounded so, is this the same thing as the first game? It sounded so weird, the distortion and the delivery was so, I don't know, that I thought the game was running bad. Um, okay. As you can see, this is moving around, however, I'm using the mouse because this game does have mouse support. Uh, slightly concerned though. Because uh, you know, we can't see anything. I'm going to have to hope that once we get in game. Pamphlet. What? Also, endless, so I guess that's, uh, that's going to be a feature for a little longer. Oh! Would well, that make sense? If you're going to have a direct sequel and not release the original peasant game, then yes, this makes sense. Also, I went, I was actually, I was going to say, I went back to look at stuff just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Because, like, when you play through that game, you get, I don't know, something or other, demon baby. And then you don't really get much elaboration on it other than, I don't know, magic. Magic for what? Don't know. Why are the orphans there? Of the orphans of questionable ages? Are you teenagers? Are you in your twenties? Are you in your thirties? Not quite sure. And then it's just uh, okay, but why was one baby a a a a, a, a big a, a big bulbous baby, and the other one was a little yippity shit with uh, scissors? And then what happened to the baby, the big baby that went boom and burned, and then suddenly uh, the, the one reborn appeared. And uh, all I, I don't, I, it wasn't answered in the game. Because I looked, and the cage, turns out that is Sam Burrows. Your man, we, we, we should have given the ham to. We should, if we give the ham to Sam, then we would have been alive. Didn't need any eggs, he was grand. The ham was, would suffice. You don't find anything out from him. And also, uh, if you do do that, and you don't have the key to get it, because it turns out that little weird key, that's meant for the cell door. But if you don't have that, then Lot appears. And she comes in, and, and then she lets you out, and then she runs away, and then uh, Lot gets got. Turns out that Mary's out there with a shotgun. So you know. Anyway. This is go for a refresher in case there's something here that was missed or something they added in. Something I didn't notice. 
In the mountains of Roms, Roms, Dar, Dar, Norway, in the mountains of Norway, stands the Barrows family mansion. This mansion had a large clock tower. That's why the game is called Clock Tower, because the mansion has a clock tower. But for some reason, but because this this, this mansion had a clock tower, the whole building became known as Clock Tower. Which is dumb, because I don't know why you take one feature of the mansion and say, it's just a clock tower now. It's like Westminster Abbey, it's like Big Ben only takes over that one tower. You don't say, ah, now Parliament has assembled at Big Ben. By which the locals tended their flocks in the surrounding fields. The local people call the mansion the Clock Tower. For some reason. And when I saw that, the, the ellipses there at the bottom, I was up at the top reading by which the locals, I thought that was a trademark. <laughs> in 1986, the mistress of the Prowess Mansion gave birth to twins. From the day they were born, however, it was obvious the twins were not normal and were evil. I swear one of them flipped me off and the other one gave me a dodgy look. The twins were given the names Bobby and Dan, who were later to become their murderous scissor men, with the both were. In 1995, a young girl from- You tell me that game took place in 95? With the way they were dressed. Whatever. A uh, young girl from the Grand Orphanage whose parents died when she was quite small. Not young. Small. Was lured into the Barrow's mansion where she was attacked by a monster. We were in a she wasn't really. I mean, she she was. It was her and. Oh, we, we're going to forget about the other ones. They died, so it doesn't matter. Is that the end we're going with where everybody died except Jennifer? Yeah, that monster was the grown up Bobby. She managed to escape from the terrible horrors, destroy the monster. Uh, well, she accidentally destroyed one monster and then Bobby uh, fell to an inconclusive death and flee the mansion. For the next year, all of Norway was caught up with the sensationalized Scissor Man murder. Although Jennifer thought he was dead, Scissor Man has reappeared. Oh, but is it going to be a copycat, or is it actually going to be Bobby, or is it going to be the one reborn? Who is to say? Let's, let's get a hint. Hint one. Uh, start the game. No hints have been discovered yet. Alright. I guess that's the school. Prologue. Samuel Barton. Oh, it's like I'm playing D again. Some weird wave the interlist bullshit. What are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. All right. First impression. I actually really like how this looks. Also quite like this uh, ghostly trio. Which is lovely and smooth for a game running at 30 FPS. Actually, it's, it's, you know, 30 FPS could be smoother, this could be tighter on 30 FPS. It's just the... Uh, the, the intro, I should say, was running about 15. Hmm. The clock tower murders the mass murderer over, over victims in this game. Over tip, this game. 
oh i tried to speed read and then the text stopped moving and then i panic read something that wasn't moving and then it just had realization part way through and it's completely crumbled the mass murder of over 10 victims in this case how intriguing jennifer simpson only one of two survivors i have to get the information out of her for future why do you have it the first sentence fucking wants to escape it is as if just by we yippity shit scissorman but the, the rest of them hangs around so that you can press this and then just squishes away so we can get the final word Final okay, camera, page records are kept here. What's oh, this? There is a memo stuck between the pages. You found that one. Did you give it a lovely kiss? Hmm. There's a faint smell of ammonia. Alright, so it has, it has the uh, obnoxious snapping of the original. Our movement speed is a lot faster, which is nice. Oh, he's having a lot of run. Uh, we have no portrait to clue in our st stamina. Oh my god. You would think this kind of snap would be helpful, but it's not, because you could end up missing out on other things. Also, yeah, thankfully, do we have a little cursor. It makes sense we would, but I was worried for a second. A giant pair of scissors is on the desk. They are rep that that because of mer so she's made the murder. What the hell's going on? And the clock her case. These are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. Sorry, I don't know what came over me there. Just, uh, oh well, look at these. They make me feel so sort of way. And uh, oh, so let's go walk it off. I don't think you really do much slashing up with scissors. It's more of the Whatever, it's more of a stab and what the hell's that over there? Lately I've been doing most of the criminal psychology research. I don't know what the first part was. Hmm, the staff is still here. The fuck is this? What the, what's this? I understand what this is. This is a This is a bear. This is a weird mix of 3D and 2D elements. Because this bear, stylistically, by god, does it not match anything else in this world so far? Like this mask, I'm assuming mask, not decapitation. These color palette wise suits. What's this? A statue. It is cold. One of the things. Oh, it's a demon statue. I turn her in. It seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on. This. I want to look at the bear. A stuffed animal. That was like a prize one at a fair. Why does it look like that? Hello. We missed her. Ellen left a few minutes ago. Then she looked. Really angry. Her. Will you stop printing already, for God's sake? Scissorman's rubber mask. What? Wait, so his head wasn't... ...deformed. But... ...the... ...but the, like the... I guess, uh, the now not real deformity matched, uh, the big blobby bad babby. I thought that was like the thing. Whatever. I can't stole them cheap novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. You tell me. So are we going for like a Halloween? Two thing? Are we going to find a fake scissorman? Mind you, I think this whole thing's going to be scissorman did die 
And we do help a copycat. Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? Yeah, can I use this computer? Get on this desk. Okay, I'm gonna use computers. Alright. Off we go. Eventually. There is still something I need to do in here. Uh, anyway. uh, Harris desk. Clipped articles of the clock tower. Story are scattered about. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. Is that, is that enough now? No. There is still something I need to do in here. It's nice that they managed to somehow replicate the stiltiness of the de of the voice actor and just in the written text as well. You gotta appreciate that kind of you know consistency. All right, we are locked in here. This is this is a good start. Uh, need to exhaust dialogue with, with you. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together. One mustn't let their present feelings get in the way. Jennifer is nothing more than another research. Subject. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. I wish I had a cute kid sister. A cute kid brother. Would be okay too. Uh, here's the thing, like I'm mashing through this and look how long it takes to get through the dialogue because my pauses are part intentional but also like I, I probably wouldn't have to. You anything else to say? It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Uh, I guess they want to sensationalize this. There's a man who really doesn't even exist. Says your man, it'd be cool if he were real. It'd be cool. Huh? I um just, just, just a joke. It'd be really cool if there was a serial murderer that killed everybody with a giant pair of scissors. Didn't exist at all. Nope. He didn't exist at all. Scissor man's rubber mask here doesn't exist at all. Oh boy, I shouldn't have done that, I forgot how much dialogue there was. Can we leave now? This is the view come to expect. Can I go this way? Do you want to go this way? Yes, you do. So, yeah, this is. Alright. Hello! I can't walk any further than I can. Okay, this isn't a game where you continuously walk forward. Oh, Professor! A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first. The first what? First floor? First of January? Floor! Oh, thrilling. Oh, 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 thank you. Do you, do you have anything else to say? I might stop myself from going to the first floor of a. Ah, uh, it's Jennifer. She's already gone home. Was there something new? Wanted to see her about. Ah, uh, no. He's always so gloomy. He's top notch though, that's for sure. But then. Can I go in there? Elevator? We cannot even entertain the notion of opening that door. Just like we can't entertain the notion of clicking on this stupid feckin' thing. Okay, watch you walk over here, Ted. Oh boy. Ooh. Meh. 
Yeah, just shove your full fuss in there. Have fun with these open top elevators. Oh, Professor. I am the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman. Pleasure. I'm a bit busy, please keep it brief. Then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? I can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks. Credibility. Oh, you mean the victim that's testifying? No, I mean the one that's dead. That would be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? Oh, uh, nothing really, it's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she, uh, she refused. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about, this is our man. And whether he really exists or not. That's it. That's right. That is what our readers want to know. Because the existence of the scissor man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Ah. Hers? How much I can say to that, is there? Well, let's start from the conclusion. What? It's facts that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. But what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see. A poet. Okay, that's it. Interview's over. There's something I must be attending to. Ah, well, okay. I understand. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. Now I must go tend. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower. Murders. He is supposed to be a joke. The one reborn. Supposed to be young for five by ten years. Old. Now to go and take a shit. Hmm. Oh no, this is a problem because I don't know what floor we're on. <laughs> well, let's guess. There's no reach to go to the third floor. I hate to waste time. So instead I, I will so I'll just stand here for a bit. So yeah, okay, so one reborn, they found him. And then the question is, is one reborn inherently evil and destined to become a big blue bee? Or is 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 one reborn gonna end up being good? The purifying fires of kerosene. How do you save this game? I wonder if it's going to be like a prompt. Okay. Yep, you just you just have to keep. You just have to. You have to keep mashing. Where you okay? I thought the movement broke, but no, it's because I can't go any further. Yeah. 
We go into talk. All right, see, you, we, we, you forced the cutscene to here, but you wouldn't take it all the way, I see. Fair enough. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert to interview these victims. I'm not really not that good at it. Opinion of the statue. Hmm. Professor, the boy has survived the clock tower. Murders is here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Is there something I can do for you? No. No, you want to tighten this cravat, maybe then. There's still something you do. Yes, you need to tighten this cravat. This is not tight enough. This can be embedded in my neck. Is this cravat or is he wearing a green turtleneck? Yes, he's wearing a, a skin Hogan green turtleneck with shirt and then jacket. He's very cold. Uh, do I need to look at the statue again? Nope. Yes, we know you need to get an expert opinion on the statue. Yes, we know. Yes, we know. Yes, we know. Wait. Shut up, stop here. The spy is a professor solo from the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrows Mansion. Where? I'll go to him first to see if he knows anything. What? But I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Ask Harris? Yes, no. Yes! No. See, I must have started that because it was the same feckin' dial- Was it the same dialogue or did I just presume and then I just went trailed off into something new without me knowing? Uh, okay, Harris, you're a bit of a numpty and possibly questionable. Yeah, I take it anyway. Whatever you do, don't bleach him over the head of it. Alright, I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. Harris! Would you take the statue and show it to Rick? And by that I mean, show it to a man named Rick. Is that the statue that was at the scene of the murders? Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything about it? They didn't have to do it that time. Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home this evening. Very good. Thank you. Okay, that's that. I should probably go to the Ferrape room. So did we not get the extended demon statue because we didn't talk to Harris beforehand? If so, that's rather silly. Speaking of silly, this keyboard. Uh, up here, we here only have the side of it, and the rest of it is either gone or has sunk into the desk. Well, actually, the reality is the PlayStation 1 is uh, struggling to understand its place in the universe. As you can see over here, this one has the bottom, this, this side, has no keys nor a back. We only have one functional keyboard in this office, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a real problem. Hello, little boy. Oh, see, uh, again, this is another one of me. Hello, not Miss Mary. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I am an instructor at the Grand... Oh, dear. I am Edward's guardian. Edward? I thought he lost... Uh, I thought he completely lost all his memory. From the shock. Does he remember his name? No. I call him Edward because I'm having a name to go by. Makes things very difficult. Ellipses. Now, since it's our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Are you a murderer? Are you the one reborn? Now I want you to honestly tell me everything. You remember. About what? Happened. 
Uh, yes. Well then, let's get started. Uh, well, there we go. Oh. Any day you like, there we go. Helen isn't home yet. Ellipses. I think I will go out for a while. You know, there's such a thing as too many pictures. What? Where shall I go? Shall I go to Oslo Weekly Newspaper Co? Norway International Hotel? Municipal Library. You know, research bludge. Or you know, staff housing. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Ah. Uh. Hello, can you see the, is the clock tower? No. There are myriad buildings amongst the trees, but none of them are clocked her. Uh, right, so, 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 so for Jennifer, what would we want to do as Jennifer? We do not want to go to the hotel. Probably. Uh, municipal, uh, we probably do want to do some reading. Uh, research, staff, I, I don't know. I, I guess let's go uh, talk to the newspaper. But she didn't want to give an interview. But she was kind of angry. Maybe she's not angry anymore. Newspaper. If I went to the newspaper office, I would just be chased by reporters. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, <sighs> it's your parlor's hidden library. Helen's mentor, Mr. Sullivan. Is the head librarian? Municipal library. Here we are on, in the town constructed out of play blocks. Hello, Jennifer. Did you come to check out a book? Or something? Mr. Sullivan. You're the it is uh, for how's Helen? She's fine, but she's been busy lately. I see. Oh, by the way, I've added to my God Collection again. Do you want to come see? It's quite a collection of archaeological value. Ah, uh, no, no, thank you. It would take a long Time. Goodbye, Mr. Sullivan. Well, drop in for a visit any time. Right. I see. I will go see Helen. She should still be in her lab. This looks like a place I'm going to run around in. Oh, hello, Jennifer. What's up? Oh, nothing much. I just came for a little visit. Now it's time to go. Take care. Oh, really? I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go. Ahead. And eat without me. Are you busy? My hard drive crashed and I lost all my data. I've got to get restored tonight. Oh. I see. Please leave the key in the usual place. Okay. I will. Good luck, Alan. Uh, 
Uh, I, I guess we go back here. University personnel housing. Oh, I live here with Helen. No one should be there. If I went home now, though. I mean, is that not... Alright. Um... But we've been everywhere. Do you want to go newspaper now? You don't. And that, that still makes sense. I'm just... Do you want to go to the hotel? Oh, that's right. Edward is supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. I have no suspicions at all on the peculiar child that I never met in this mansion where all the things happened. I'm just going to go see him. That's why not. Is this boy Edward? He's, she screams in his face. Are you by chance Jennifer? Yes, I am Jennifer. I thought so. I recognized your face from all the... Pictures in the paper. Oh, uh, my name is Kay. I am an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. The Granite Orphanage? Yes, but I began after you left. Is he... Yes, he is Edward. Say hello, Edward. Uh, hello. Hello, Edward. How do you do? Jennifer, Edward has lost his memory from the shock of... What happened? Yes, I've heard. You were also involved, weren't you? Speaking with you might jog his memory. Ellipses. I was hoping you would be able to come and visit Edward. Please. Yes, that would be fine. I will I'll come as often as I can. Oh. Well, I must be going. Oh, I'm oh, sorry for keeping you. See you again, sir, and Edward. Bye bye. Uh, home? Huh? Someone's in front of the house. Oh, that's. Who? Who? Lovely Grey Bolden. The fuck are you? Fucking seventies man. You're the reporter that came to the university. And we're having this conversation in the room instead of outside the building. Why? <laughs> if you don't know who he is, why'd you let him out? Oh, please call me Norman. I have been collecting information on the clock tower. It's fucking rabbit. It's fucking terrifying. Kiss for a long time now. Even though it is a really big case, very little of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. And I'm interested in you to... to mm. Lot of narrative bold. Unlike the first game, it's real. One end of the spectrum to the other. Hey, what do you say you want dinner with me? I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to... Talk. Are you asking me for an... Oh, bloody hell. It's just... Oof. <laughs> yes, both. I don't know if you like... Oh, it's <laughs> Yes, go. Scenario 1. Jennifer Simps. Alright. <laughs> is this how we're doing it? It's very lit. <gasps> Someone seems to be falling. Uh, I want it. Uh. Oh, 
Oh dear. You gonna try and lose them in the park? Oh boy. What's wrong? Help! Someone is following me! Hmm, some kind of weirdo? <laughs> Okay, okay, things, things, things have been, oh my god, there's a shotgun blast of activity already. Went from nothing to everything. Which, you know, in a way, that's how you are effective, you know, because you wait. Ho, ho, ho. Can I hide in the box? Yes, I can. Okay, you're kind of tall. You're not Edward, you have brown hair. So initially the thought is Harris. This may be useful. You now have oil can. Alright. Locked. Okay, immediately. I'm actually kinda into this game. <laughs> like the start is slow, but the game it's it's like the first game. There's something about the tone. What's something I can defend myself with? Wait, it's just, uh, not, oh, not strange to say. Uh, the game had very smooth, snappier than the original. Unfortunately, of course, with the move of 3D, we've lost some of the nice art, but at the same time, I kind of like how it looks. It's tough, full of complex stuff. What's this? You discovered Hint 2. There's some boxes. There doesn't seem to be anything inside. You, you can tell that by shoving your face against it. Fair enough. So, as I got an oil can. If something squeaks, I could make it not squeak. Good for me. Can I light switch? No. Are we not going to have a situation where I'm going to have to turn off a light to see sparkling in a dark room? That would be nice. Uh, well, I guess there we go. Oh, God. Not being able to save anywhere. That's going to be a bugger if we die. It appears to be a laboratory, but the door is locked. I'm sure Helen's laboratory is on the second. Floor. Yeah, let's go to the shutter. There is blood in her hands. Probably from the security. Guard. Out of seat. There's no sign of Sister Man hiding here. <laughs> oh, see, we're actively looking for him now. The first thought is obviously to use the elevator. But I don't want to. Because if I was doing this, I would put Scissor Man in the elevator. Because the player naturally isn't going to want to take the stairs. Because that takes time. And also, based on the intro, we train the player to use stairs, or use the elevator rather. I realized I stopped paying attention to what I was doing. Where's the second floor? Are you the second floor? I want to hope you're the second floor. Uh, it's a very tall wa water fountain. What? What are you here for? I suppose because that collects like the hail. Okay, the movement is slightly weird. Also, wrong floor. Men's lounge. Alright. The fire extinguisher. Boo -boo. 
Something else nice around the table. There is something written here. I discovered him three. Do you look at that? Bunk beds, no one's in them. Hiding spot. Has been happened. Yeah, they must take naps here when it gets late. The surrounding campus is lit up with street lights. The campus is creepy. What's everyone doing? Nothing, alright. Can we take this? A small fire extinguisher. No. Maybe it's the situation of face here. Then we can use it. The emergency exit. It's no use. It won't even budge. Can we? Can we? Oh. Oh, where we go? I can't imagine trying to play this with a controller. Well, I can actually. And that's part of the reason for why I brought it up. Very awkward. Yeah, I was about to let me go to the laboratory. I don't need to go into that. I wish I knew what floor I was on. I just walked upstairs not really thinking, not paying attention. That's a door. Yes, it does. <gasps> the mask is already here. It's a new mask. But you said they're easily accessible, so that makes sense. It's not, is this a thing? Let's check every desk. Professor Barton. There is a telephone. It's dead. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's very neatly organized. There is a key. You know, I have office key. What office? Don't know. This is just a little in a spray can. Yeah, that me is. Take it then, you tut. Right? Did you try lifting it? Is the can stuck? Did you stick it down with glue? Is it means just to fool people that need miss? Now let us go into the forest of doors so we can find use of office key. Well, that was fast. I guess we couldn't see the forest through the trees. Oh. <gasps> I can't help but feel we may be having a nightmare. I'm going to say this isn't actually happening. Maybe that's medicine. I 
the chief table. Now it's not the time to be judgy about the budgetary fucking capabilities of this place. Also, yes, those rooms are gone. Uh, you're not on that. Oh, we can hide under. I've had it with laying on this bed. Okay. Music I like the music. Please to the left. Oh Let's go upstairs. Do we have to go if this is a dream sequence we may have to take it to the roof? No, not oil can. My thought process being just Oh we need to fall off the roof. It won't open. Hurry up before he gets up here. We need to get to that fire stick, sure. So what are we trying to do then? Or should we go for the shitter? I'm sure this will work. I want to stand on the side up there. Don't put your ear up to it. things. Well. So, uh, how are you feeling about the old clock tower then? Seems neat so far. Yep. Okay. Not a person clear where I should be going. Do we still have do we still have office key? Do we just have to leave? Because it's that simple. Trying all these doors, and then they'll take us into the bedrooms, and they have this, and this is just locked or stuck. Emergency exit. It's no use. You don't even budge. Um. I mean, at this point, all I can think of is that we. So we didn't check the door. Oh, yeah, this movement now with it, with it not being automatic, or not automatic, with it not being a continuous run, it's kind of annoying. It makes running a lot more awkward. <gasps> oh, for God's sake, what now? Ah. What? 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 Yeah, I can't see that one. The thing is, too, when multiple masks and what have you, then it's just you know, the situation, then it's alright. How many Susan are there actually? Uh, 
Let's hate under this. The number of is here. Oh, I meant under the blanket. Sure, that's uh, that's an option too. Boy, I sure hope we can see you under there from the door. Got a lovely little slide on him. There's a key on the table. What is this? You know how the la ladder key? I wonder what happened. The chair is knocked over. I, I don't know why this is so important to her, but fair enough. Ah, ah no, ah no. That scared me. Why did you push it? Huh? Tell the horse dead. Now, my guess is of a ladder key would be the rooftop, because you know, like a fire escape. But. Why would you call it a ladder key? And when I tried to use the... Did I try to look at the one up top? Is there, a key, is there a ladder in the elevator? In the open top? Maybe? I'm gonna go back to the roof. It could be a weird naming thing. His cabinet. Oh. Well, I had the right idea. It's locked, so I guess it can't be used in an emergency either. Hmm. Comes Jennifer and their opinion on your safety measures. An emergency ladder? It looks like a fire ladder. It's lo You picked up the key, you gulp and use the fit. I'll use keys and doors. But not on objects. And way up here, is it safe? I don't know. It's what the ladder's for. I mean, if they wouldn't lock an emergency ladder, maybe they didn't make it long enough, and that's why they locked it. Ugh. What a thrill! Silence in the night. We did the biggest skip. On to scenario, no, we'll be scenario two now. We're on to narrative interlude. What enough is going on? We haven't even solved the last case yet, and now another mass murder. Well, no, it was only one. And again, you're saying that the murder is a monster? What? He's true. I can already see tonight's headlines. He stuck it where? In the sub story, Scissor Man is back. <clears throat> well, whether he exists or not, you should go home now. Interest. We posted the policeman outside your house, so you'll. 
Be safe. Thank you, Inspector. That's Assistant Inspector. A mean stare going on, and I'm not sure at what. Uh, if you, you, you have nothing else to say now, you're you you have now you have a, you're very statuesque. Jennifer, Helen is true. It was the scissor man. Yeah, but he shoots his back. I know. I believe he had Jennifer, but he's just being stubborn. I heard that, H. Really? Anyway, if it is him, we have to figure out some way to destroy him. He has conspired to murder in front of the policeman. We can do it. Yes. What should I do now? I don't know. Actually, do you know what I should do now? I should check the manual. <laughs> I just had, during the chasing, I had flashbacks to the first game. Granted, it wasn't during the chase where we had to mash the right mouse button. But you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to play it safe. Here we go. I was going to, I was, I was going to say, I should tell you about the state of RPGs at the time that you have a controller dedicated to being the ultimate one-handed controller for strategy and RPG games. I was going to say that, but then I remembered that this, that this came out in 96. Final Fantasy VII wasn't in 97. <clears throat> Unless, of course, this was a reprint down the line, I do It's weird that they would prioritise an RPG controller yeah, whatever. Oh, there it is again. Lovely stuff. Uh, let's skip the prologue. We've seen the prologue. Aha! Uh -huh. Game terminology. Press the button, click. Panic mode. When the character's life is threatened, the cursor blinks red. Okay, so we're looking at a curse this time. Because, of course, we don't have the... We don't have... um. We don't have portraits anymore. Skid most likely when the character is chased by Cesar Man. Sure. Hey, mouse. Hey, panic button. We properly click. Nothing else. Pause. Wait. Let me use the pause function. Both. Okay, both mouse buttons. That's okay. I, I see the logic there. Game flow. I well, we already know the game flow. Progression screens, endless. Progression screens, power and game over. Character descriptions. Okay, this may actually shed some light. To enhance the storyline, this story features nearly 30 characters. Are we going to go through all of them now? The number of survivors depends solely on your actions. Well, that's unfortunate. No one in Campbell, 26. Reporter for Third Rate Tabloid. Newton was targeted by Scissorman when he started getting a little too interested in the Clock Tower case when investigating for a story. That's the reporter we talked about before, right? So, Jennifer, age 50. What? What? She's 15? I don't... But... I don't know. I mean, this makes more sense for the whole orphanage thing, but the part where they look like they're in their early 20s is the problem. Erwin, Jennifer lost her parents when she was young, raised an orphan in chapter narrow skip from Scissor many years ago. Helen, who was investigating the case, took a run after a year together. They developed a sisterly relationship. Jennifer's difficult life has made her tough and inventive. She had to be to stay alive. 
I mean, not really. She wasn't really that inventive. She, like, I hid under a bed. I hid in a car. I sprayed insecticide in a fridge. Helen Maxwell, age 30. May become a heroine dependent on scenario progression and changes. Oh, dear. Helen is assistant professor of criminal psychology and curious Mrs. Herman. <laughs> she wants to do a profile on him. In turn, he wants her dead. Samuel Burton. It is, it is a feckin' cravat. The feck. Age 52, Professor Crumb's Psychology. Blah, blah, blah. Stan Gotts. Age 42, Officer Investigating Clocked Her Case. Stan was obsessed with tracking sister and a believer. Blah, blah, blah. He plays no heavy. Blah, 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 blah. Harris Chapman. Age 35. With a massive head. Research assist studied criminal psychology. Harris is a sneaky, small, gaunt man and has a warped infatuation with Jennifer. Edward, age 10. Another person who, like Jennifer, survived the clock tower an instant a year ago. Edward's true identity is unknown. He lost his memory when rescued and was taken to Granite Orphanage, where he was given the name of Edward. Oh, important to note, game uses a maximum of four, but a minimum of two memory card blocks. Hmm. Mind how you go. Uh, the no, no, we know this. Well, we'll leave those for later. All right, it's all straightforward. Back to it. <laughs>